The Global Development Network was established in 1999 under the visionary leadership of personalities from the World Bank. James D. Wolfenson, then President of the World Bank, saw GDN as an instrument to build analytical capacity and enable countries to design their development strategies. Today, GDN is recognized as an international organization supporting Southern researchers and is uniquely positioned to enhance economic and social research capacity globally. GDN is a network of networks working with 11 regional partners which aims to make southern research credible and visible. Our goal is to have better development policies in developing countries, policies that are conducted locally, policies that are informed by a local debate and not only by advice coming from the uh, outside world. This is why uh, training researchers in developing countries is, I believe, a major contribution to development. Independent evaluations of GDN point out that GDN is not just delivering on its global research agenda, but also managing change, providing locally informed analysis in shifting economic scenarios, identifying gaps and enhancing skills and research capability. Backing up economic and social policy with facts and robust analysis ensures more effective policy-making, informed social discourse and potentially accelerated development and growth. Our goal is not only to give new skills to researchers, it's not only to train them, it's to work on the interaction between knowledge and action, to work about the interaction between researchers and policymakers, so that policymakers are exposed to the work of these researchers, and that work in turn informs them and helps them take their decisions. Our network of researchers from more than 100 countries with their mentors and experts have ensured that we help develop quality research which is useful, timely and relevant. We are working on a web-based developmental tool so that women and men in Macedonia receive the same wage. GDN has connected developing country researchers with their peers, both in other developing countries and in the developed world. Through GDNet, we built a community of more than 12,000 Southern researchers and helped connect their knowledge, institutes and original research. GDN linked people from all corners of the world and has kept them up to date with the latest thinking in the field. Global research projects, global research competition and regional research competitions have provided opportunities to researchers to actively develop skills over a period of time. They all encourage the exchange of knowledge and fostering broader South-South collaboration. The Global Awards and Medals program, supported by the Government of Japan, has also granted medals and awards to talented researchers. These programs have been a stepping stone to strong careers in academia and research. GDN focuses on two fronts strengthen scientific research capacity in areas with a clear knowledge gap and train researchers to better interact with policy makers through various mechanisms. On the one hand, we need money to spend and cure the sick people with diseases of tobacco and on the other hand, we also need the same income to be able to cure them without seeing the problem as one solo. Claro, definitivamente las campañas son una forma de comunicar, digamos, el problema. Our policy workshops and seminars connect research and policy making and contribute to better evidence-informed policies. I want to congratulate the authors of that paper 
I was discussing with my colleague how we can take the results of that exercise forward. Stakeholders say that our greatest contribution is in providing a global forum for exchange of ideas, knowledge sharing and voice for developing country researchers. Social media has also led to a substantial increase in collaboration and exchange of research. Connecting developing country researchers with mentors helps strengthen skills locally, which leads to more pragmatic and real solutions. GDN organizes an annual international conference, giving a unique opportunity to developing country researchers to share their work on topical issues and get feedback from the international research community. Today, the conference also offers new opportunities to young students. In Accra, African University students have participated in an essay competition on imagining the future of Africa 2025 to attend the conference. GDN has built support at the highest political level to inform public policy globally through its research capacity building activities. GDN works with many partners and receives support from a variety of bilateral, regional and multilateral donors as well as private foundations. GDN has created a network of regional partners, managed complex cross-country research programs on relevant and researchable themes and is positioned as a trusted international global organization. Most importantly, GDN has provided invaluable support and opportunities to thousands of researchers in developing countries and transition economies.